Our guest speaker today is Dave Wheeler. I don't know if he's about to pretend. I mentioned him earlier. Dave is um, the, 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 the founder and owner of gpsspeakermarketing.com. Nowadays, every speaker needs a one sheet, a demo video, and a speaker specific website to be taken seriously as a speaking professional. Mm -hmm. Dave helps speakers take their one sheet to the next level, or for new speakers, make sure all the key elements are covered so your one sheet can generate business immediately. GPS Speaker Marketing helps speakers market their speeches and understand the speaking market and has expertise to help you get your first paid speaking gig or your next 100. Please welcome Dave Miller. Thank you, David. Okay, I'm going to talk to you about one sheets, but before I do that, I'm going to give you a little excerpt of a speech I gave earlier this week that was titled The Path to Professional Speaking, because it'll kind of put one sheets into perspective in terms of the overall uh, professional speaking. There are three keys for professional speaking. Anybody just throw out some things that you think? Not marketing. <laughs> the speech, which incorporates a, a lot of the various ideas that you probably have. Your target audience, which, again, the, your goal as a professional speaker is to grow your audience, and there's all kinds of different avenues to do that. Again, those two areas I'm not going to talk about. The third area, which when I gave the speech on Tuesday, it took about five minutes before people figured out what that third part was. Now you guys are a little bit f ahead of the game because Susan already got it. It's marketing. That's also what I do. Uh, but within marketing, there's a lot. Thanks for making us look good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't even pay her to say that either. <laughs> yep. There's a lot of things that go into marketing. And uh, my intro mentioned the three key ones. Your website, a demo reel, and a one sheet. Now, these are kind of the, the minimum, uh, this is like the, the bar in terms of basics for a professional speaker. The reason being is if someone would like to hire, they hear about you, however, through other parts of marketing, and they want to hire you, well, uh, what are they going to do? Well, they're, odds are they're probably not going to throw thousands of dollars at you just you know, <coughs> out of the blue. They're going to do a little bit of research. They'll see if you have a website. They'll probably look at it and see what it says. Uh, they'd love to see a demo reel and actually see you know, how, uh, how you do and what your content is, your style, and see if it's an appropriate fit for their event. And then finally, the one sheet is it's almost like a business card. It's very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, but again, it's a selling document to get them to, to look at you and say, I want what this speaker provides. I want it for my event. So the one sheet is very important. And it's also great in terms of reaching out as just as a simple marketing tool in terms of sending it to someone, you know, with maybe with a cover letter that says, hey, you know, you're going to an event coming up. This is what I talk about. Hey, how about hire me? Okay, it's a, you, you could probably write it a little better than that. But. <laughs> so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a workshop format. And did everybody get the checklist that, that we sent out earlier? Okay. That's, I didn't print the back, the back side of, of the handout that you just got, but essentially the checklist is part of that. So that, that was sent out so that you can kind of start getting an idea in terms of what uh, bits and pieces go into a one sheet. And the uh, handout for today has, and, and I'll go through, uh, I don't, probably won't be able to go into a lot of depth on all of it because they only have a certain amount of time, uh, but what I'll do is I'll hit some important aspects of what goes into a one sheet and then you can start to take some notes. Uh, there's lots of room on here for notes, but it's also as I present something, you know, you can kind of translate that to your situation and say, okay, you know, this is my answer to this. This is what, you know, this is how it applies to you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Great. 
Everybody get all get everything? Get, okay. So the very first thing to consider is how are you going to stand out? And again, some of these are, are kind of thinking, uh, the thinking that you have to ha go through before you create your one sheet. Uh, you'll see, I've got a bunch of examples we'll go through and, and we'll see some of the you know, pitfalls and, and some of the, the things. It's not as easy as just making a brochure. Because again, this is an important marketing piece. You want to make sure that it does what you want it to do, which is get you speaking gigs. And you want to make sure you stand out. Now, how do you stand out? Well, you've, you've got to be different. I like to think of it, it's on a continuum. There's okay, there's good, kind of like everybody else. Actually, there's even further over, there's not good, but let's not talk about it. There's good, there's different, and then there's best, okay? You can be good, and eh, you're in the crowd. You're like, why should, I, why should I choose you? But if you're different, at least you have a shot at someone saying, I want that difference. If you take your difference and you apply it to your target audience and you're better or best, you have much more opportunities. Does that make sense? Okay. So the questions that I put in here are similar to the ones that were on the checklist in terms of what you need to know before you start putting together your one sheet. You know, how are you, how are you unique? In marketing, they call it uh, uh, a USP, a unique selling proposition, in terms of how are you unique, unique in a way that you could sell. So how are you unique? You know, what is, who is your target audience? And you know what problems do they have? Because again, it, if you're a speaker, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Could, would you have different one sheets for different audiences? Yes, yes. You you definitely would want to. Again, if you have multiple speeches or multiple niches that you're you're t attacking, then yes, it would make sense to have a different one sheet tailored to particular audiences. Uh, and you'll actually, we'll see uh, some examples of that. The other thing, I'll, I'll actually, I'll point out, and it's kind of the last question here, what needs to change is a one sheet, like actually a lot of marketing, evolves. As you learn more about your target audience, you, it's like, hey, this, they love this. Okay, I'm going to put this into my one sheet. You know? So the first step is to just make a one sheet and try it and, you know, if it works, great. If it doesn't, find out what's, what's missing and evolve it. And again, having multiple ones for different markets, what you probably will find is, well, one will work better than the other. So you focus on the one that works or figure out why the one that doesn't work. Uh, because I'm a, a firm believer that you really should focus on one thing, one market. But it, if you're starting out, you know, which one's, which, which one's going to work? That's a big question. You know? And if you've got the energy to, to, to kind of do things in parallel, then you know, why not try? What do you mean we focus on one market? Yes. One, well, one, mar one target audience. That might be a better way to phrase it. Because, again, you're talking, as a speaker, you're talking to a, a particular person. Now, grant, granted, it's a group of them, but you're talking to one person. And, and this is get a little bit off topic, but Essentially, you need to be able to kind of understand everything about that target audience. You know, what kind of clothes do they wear? Where do they work? Uh, you know, uh, where do they live? And actually, very importantly, you know, what associations or what meetings do they go to where you could speak? So knowing your target audience as a single person even, or a, a kind of a combined <coughs> conglomerate of, a, of people, so you know what the characteristics are that you're targeting. It's kind of like, I guess, your resume. I do a lot of workforce mm -hmm. development stuff, and you don't want to have one resume that has everything on it. Right. You yeah. almost want to be having a generic one, per se, but then really targeting your resume to right. a specific job. Right. So yeah. I'm almost thinking of this as a resume. It's very similar. It's very similar. Okay. And as, as a speaker, what you're selling is speaking. So you want 
it to come across, I mean, a resume is a bunch of, usually a bunch of text on a page, lists a bunch of facts, but it doesn't necessarily evoke, you know, much excitement, usually, uh, unless someone, you know, really wants to hire you. But the a one sheet, again, is more of a marketing piece. It needs to show, you know, how are you, how are you different, and it needs to show what you, value you bring to a speaking gig. That makes sense? Yes. Okay. So, the next thing to consider, and again, the all the uh, the be different kind of stuff is all things to think about, because of, and the, the more clearer you are on those questions, the easier everything else becomes, and you'll you'll see that as as we get into the the second and third parts, the style and layout. I kind of I that's kind of the fun stuff. You know, you know what do you what do you like to see on that kind of would represent you? Uh, you know what colors, what uh, you know uh, patterns. Uh, you'll you'll see when we, we go through. We're going to go through a few of them and, and look look at them. Um, the other part too is website. Uh, in terms of, you should keep in mind that your website and your one sheet they should work together because 